introducing the AccuScale DP scale bar kit for the DPI-8, a component of six April tag targets, six one meter scale bars, one thermometer, six screws, one vertical foot, and five feet for mounting on the floor or wall. Assembly. The first step in assembly of the scale bar kit is to take out one of the connecting screws as you see here. Next I'm going to screw that into one of my one meter bars to connect from one bar to the other to create a two meter bar. The scale bar kit can be set up in any combination of distances, anything from three two meter bars to one six meter bar or anything in between. So now that I have a two meter bar set up, I'm going to go ahead and screw in two of my targets and it's important that you always have the same color targets on either end of one bar. So we're going to use the blue targets this time, screw in on the right side, and screw in on the left. Next we want to add each of these feet per one meter distance to snap onto the bars for placement on the floor or against a wall. We can go ahead and set that one on the ground horizontally. And next we're going to set up a vertical kit so to capture the z-axis in our scene. So here you see the one special bar that has a foot pre-attached. This is for vertical placement specifically. It can also be used horizontally, for example, in the six meter one bar setup. So we have this vertical foot, the metal rod here that screws right in and will allow you to lean the kit directly against a wall or other surface with a standard foot up top. So here we have an example of a three bar setup covering the X, Y, and Z axes in my scene. Next we have an example of a two bar setup covering just two axes but over a longer three meter distance. And lastly we have an example of a one bar setup covering a full six meter distance on one single axis or any other combination depending on the scene you're capturing. Next, I'd like to share a full tutorial of using the AccuScale DP with the DPI-8 kit in the field. So the first step is to verify the temperature on site where you're going to be scanning. Next, you want to set up your kit in the field just like we've done here and begin scanning once you're ready. So I've got my kit ready, my scanner ready, I hit start mapping. You'll notice that all of my April tags are turning orange and any targets on my scale bar kit are turning green, red, or blue. You want to make sure you turn each of these targets red, green, or blue at least once, if not more. The more times you scan over them, the better, similar to regular April tags for highly accurate loop closure. So I just finish up turning everything green and yellow in my scene and recognizing all my targets. And then I finish scanning and move to the optimization tab. And now when I hit the global optimization button as normal, this new window pops up automatically. It shows that it's recognized three different AccuScale DP bars in the scene in the red, green, and blue two meter arrangements. I want to quickly verify that those were all three accepted. This is where I'll also see if any of the targets were not registered during scanning. And then also update my temperature based on what we registered earlier. And now during the optimization, each of those distances is being used as a hard reference in addition to the overall improvement in quality based on April tags, color leveling, noise reduction, etc. So here we see my final scale bar optimized scan in 5.3D. I'm going to quickly set a coordinate system to reference the data and then I can take a measurement to quickly verify the 2.2 meter that was utilized and then save and export my scan to use in DOT3D and then bring into further applications from there. So right now I'm opening it up right on my Android in DOT3D so I can have a look at the data in my full screen viewer and editor. And again, take a quick point to point measurement with these highly accurate draggable endpoint measurements in DOT3D to verify that exact 2.2 meter distance. So now the entire point cloud has been aligned to the highest level of accuracy all automatically. For more info or to get your kit, please contact us at sales at .product3d.com.